All right, good morning Reapers. I'm Daniel from Coralus and this is the unboxing for the MP40 Quiet Drive upgrade. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what we're gonna have to do to upgrade these parts, so. All right. Right away you can see that there's two sides for the instructions, okay? If you're upgrading from the old WWD driver, these are the instructions for that. If you're using the Ecotech Smart Driver, here are the instructions for the upgrade. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. That's the knob for it. All right, let's go take off the old pumps and we'll be right back. We're gonna get some tools and we'll get to this. All right, we're back. I got off the other units. I put Velcro on them a long time ago. So here they are. I've had these for a long, long time since they first put these out. I just couldn't resist. I love technology, so I took the plunge when I first set up my aquarium and it's been about a decade later. So what we have to do following the instructions is take this off. We have to take this power source and replace it and put it on this unit. So I'm going to take out these screws and then disconnect this cord. You're gonna need your screws if you wanna put this back together. Oh, I came apart a little bit easier than I thought. So there you go, there's the board. We're gonna to have to unplug this and put it on the new one. Now this cord I have here is actually ripped, so I'm gonna to have to protect this. I'm gonna go get a, a heat shrink tube and cover that up real quick, so. Just making sure there's no locks on this one, okay. Once you take off the knob, the board comes right off. So, there you go. There is a clip on it, you do have to squeeze that, otherwise you'll break it. So squeeze the clip. It's been on there for a while, maybe a little corroded. You may have to use a screwdriver to pry this off. Yep. Okay, here's your cord, and you can see, like I said, this needs to be fixed. We don't want any moisture getting in there, so I'm going to just put some shrink tube over that just to protect it, or I could glue it on. Uh, you know what? I'll just put some super glue on it. Okay, now we got it all the way plugged in. We can take this, put it back on here. You wanna make sure everything lines up properly. Put your cord back in the hole. Okay, there's three guide pins that should hold it in place, and then once they're in, it's 
take this out. Sorry. Now I can put the screws back in. There's a little bag. Alright, we're going to take this, take your dial, there we go, let's go, alright, now we have the wet side assembly, let's check this out. Brand new quiet drive. Check that thing out, dude. That looks pretty. There's the new one. There's the old one. It's actually a little bit slimmer, it looks more sleek. So let's go put it in the tank and check it out. So we put in the new Quiet drive upgrades, and I must say I'm pretty impressed so far. Plus, I love the black cases on these Eco drives. They look really smooth, and I also got the reef link, so I can't wait to see if I can get the lightning storm all situated and the pumps and everything synced. So now all I need is a vector drive, but stay tuned for that. Hopefully, this was helpful. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. See you guys next time.